We worry a lot about concussions. We have 20 players we're responsible for, and it's two coaches. And sometimes things happen behind the play. My head kind of buckled and hit the boards. We didn't really see what happened at that time. I saw, saw the stars and everything. Probably five minutes later, I started getting blurry. The check light is an impact indicator worn on the head during sports and fitness activities. And when the device receives an impact above certain levels, uh, either a yellow light will start blinking to indicate a moderate impact, or a red light will start blinking to indicate a more severe impact. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. So that's integrated into a, um, a skull cap that's worn underneath uh, a helmet. We'll be behind the bench and as soon as the player comes back, we can look right down and it'll be a nice light. It'll be lit up right behind the player's helmet. And that way we know that player needs to go see a trainer at that time to get cleared. I know being a hockey player and playing for years, you want to keep playing no matter what. Sometimes you'll take a hit and you'll be like, all right, I want to get back out there even though something doesn't feel right. Yeah, I had a concussion last year in the cross and at first I didn't really feel anything. I was like, all right, that was a big hit. Maybe nothing happened. But after a few days, I was kind of dizzy. I'm like, you know, I, sh I should have probably gotten this checked out as soon as I got hit, but I didn't have any reference. I didn't know what like to look for. Uh, you tend to see sometimes it's a small hit that might seem insignificant. And a day or two later, you know, the player starts to see symptoms. And that's one of the biggest challenges is how to recognize it as soon as, as, soon as it happens. It's not a diagnostic tool. It's merely an impact indicator that gives the coach, parent, athletic trainer an extra set of eyes to make sure that athletes are assessed before they continue to play. For us as coaches, we want to see the players long term. We want to see them stay in the sport. Watching interviews of professional football players that can barely function now, I mean, it, it's scary. And I, I play a very physical sport and I don't, I don't want to be like that.